Before I show you the tutorial of how I made this dashboard, I wanted to give you the chance to win it. All you have to do is leave a comment down below this video. You have from today, which is the 10th of January, until the 15th of January to leave those comments. I will pull a random winner and I will mail you this project. Hello everyone, today we're going to make a dashboard with a twist. The twist is this adorable bow that when you close your planner, peeks out of the top. It's not only pretty, but it's very practical because all you have to do is just turn right to it. And of course, it's a dashboard, so it goes out and in pretty easy. This is a classic Happy Planner. And this particular divider is for my uh, volunteer group, the Cove Crafters. And so you're going to need a paper trimmer, scrapbooking paper, a laminating sheet, some laminating material, and a bow. My bow, which is where we're going to start, is die cut. And here are the pieces. You have your bottom, which are your tails. And then you have your middle, which kind of looks like, you know, the knot of the bow. And then you have this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this. This is scrapbooking paper from Doodlebug. I'm just going to simply take my fingernail and run it over the paper. And as you can see, that relaxes the fibers. I should have added glue to my list, but it's okay. I also have some E6000 glue. So what I'm going to do is right here in the middle, I'm gonna put a, a little glue and then on the outside of one of these two tabs, I'm going to put glue. So it's right there. I'm going to bring down the one that's got the glue on it first. And then its neighbor. It's a very fiddly bow, but it's very worth it. This is, a uh, once again, a die. I purchased this from Pink and Main. This is their largest um, die cut. You can also find templates online that you can trace and just do the same technique. So now that I have that in place and it feels like it's gonna stay together, we shall see in a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and place this down right there. This is the tail once again. And I'm going to put glue on that, bring this up, and you can visually center these pretty well. You do have some wiggle room as far as time is concerned. And you're going to want to look on the back to be sure that this is wrapping down the middle, and it is. And then you're just going to bring it back around. And using your fingers, you're just going to make sure that these two little pieces right there are in place. While I'm working on the rest of the project, I'm going to use a small paper clip just to hold this in place while it dries. This is actually two pieces of scrapbook paper. They are 12 by 12. And I'm gonna cut these down to nine and a quarter by seven inches. Once again, this paper is from Doodlebug Designs. I am going to use just a little bit of glue on this just to hold them together. Line those up and smooth it out. If one of the pieces didn't cut quite straight or it's uneven, you can usually pull it back up and put it back down and straighten that out. In this case, there is this little tiny bit right there, which I'm going to just use my paper trimmer to cut off. I'm going to take my laminating pouch and I'm going to cut it down to nine and a half by seven and a quarter. 
a quarter inch bigger than the piece of paper that's going inside of it. You're not gonna cut through the seal. I did. And send it through your laminator. While we're waiting for the laminating machine to heat up in this case, I'm going to create a tab that's going to hold that small bow in place. I'm bringing back my bow so I can just measure it real quick and it's measuring in at about three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna take these two pieces of scrapbook paper. They're the same ones we used on the dashboard. I'm gonna cut this to two inches by three and a quarter. I'm just gonna use a bone folder and I'm going to put it into the groove of my trimmer and score this little piece directly in half. Decide which pattern I want showing. This time I want the kind of confetti look. And then you're going to use some E6000 glue. And you can put some on both inside pieces. Decide where you want your bow to be, top, middle. You can put it out the bottom wherever you want it, and you're going to place your piece of paper directly on the outside of the laminate and hold this into place with several paper clips. I've already done this one, so we're gonna bring it back in. Once I have this onto my laminate material, I did put my paper clips on and I've checked several times to be sure there's not any real excess glue that's gonna come out. So now that these paper clips are in place, I put some E6000 glue, and the reason I used it, it's very strong, and I only put glue toward the bottom portion, and then I put that on my tab. <clears throat> I happen to have these large jumbo paper clips. And yes, this is gonna squash the bow just a little bit, but I'll fluff it up later. And I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And then once it's dry, of course, it's a super easy project. It's super fun. And I hope that you're gonna give it a try. Thank you for joining me today. Please share my videos on your social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share those videos, these videos, on your social media. Stamp happy, plan happy, and be a blessing. Bye for now.